Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. For the past couple of videos, we have been trying to build a machine learning model in order to predict the solubilities of organic molecules. In this video, I will show you how can use uh, those uh, models which we have built uh, for predicting uh, the solubility just from the smile strings of these molecules. For that, I'm gonna be installing uh, Modred and RDKit because we need that for generating descriptors for our new molecules. Along with that, I'm also gonna be importing these modules from RDKit and Modred. Along with that, I am importing pandas and numpy because we need these for uh, data manipulation. And we need standard scalar, train test split and random forest uh, regressor classes from sklearn for building our model. So now if you remember, um, in the past few videos, we used feature importance algorithm in order to identify uh, the most important descriptors responsible for building random forest. And I have stored all these uh, descriptors along with our target in Delaney underscore eight underscore des dot CSV file. So let's just go ahead and read this with the help of pandas and have a look at first five data points. So this is our uh, first, uh, final data set. We have all these uh, eight descriptors and this is our target Meyer log of solubilities. So what I'm doing here is I'm again defining uh, our dependent and independent variable. So Meyer log solubility is our target or dependent variable variable and I'm storing this in Y. Uh, so um, uh, if you remember, we also scaled this data set. Uh, and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, creating an instance of the standard scalar class and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale uh, this just the descriptors and I'm going to be storing those in X variable. So let's just go ahead and have a look at our X. So uh, this is scaled X with all our eight descriptors. And if you want to have a look at Y, Y is just our target, which is solubility. So next, let's just uh, split this into training and test set. And I'm using the same random state of 45, which we have been using before. So um, our uh, training and test sets have been stored in these variables. Now, these are the parameters which we identified using uh, grid search CV. So that's what I'm using here. And I'm creating an instance of this random forest regressor class. And after that, I'm gonna be fitting our training that data. And then I'm going to be checking our R2 scores uh, for both the training and test sets. So this is the R2 scores for our uh, training and test set and it's quite similar to what we have seen before. Now uh, one thing I want to point out that every time you run uh, you're gonna get a little different scores. For example right now um, the test score is 0 0.865 if I run it again. Uh, we are getting a score of 0 0.863 and if you run again uh, you get a score of 0 0.861 so it varies a little bit so what i'm gonna do is for reproducibility i'm gonna define a, a parameter a random state and i'm gonna give an argument of let's say zero So, um, oh, so I think this is pretty good. Uh, the R2 score for test set is 0 0.864 if we uh, round it up. Uh, okay, so next what I'm gonna do is, uh, next it's time to uh, predict the solubilities for uh, a smile string. So let us just say uh, there is just a single smile string and you wanna predict the solubility uh, for that uh, particular smile string uh, using this uh, random forest model. So what we need is we need to define a function and I'm uh, calling this as predict underscore sol and uh, the argument would be our smile string. Now the first step would be to generate all these eight uh, descriptors. So let me just show you the descriptors here. So these are our eight descriptors which we have used for building our model. And in order to predict for an external compound from smile string, we need these descriptor and that uh, we can generate with the help of Modred and RDKit. So what I'm gonna do is first convert the smile into mole, uh, molecular object. So I'm storing that molecular object in a uh, mole variable using uh, mole from smiles uh, method. And then I'm gonna be adding hydrogens 
um, then we can convert it into um, uh, 3d structures using all cam module and embed molecule method so at this point we'll have the uh, 3d structure of this molecule now, now the next step is calculating descriptors from this molecular object and if you remember we use this uh, calc dot pandas method in order to uh, generate descriptors uh, for the whole data set so um, so basically um, the point i want to make here is that this takes an argument as a data frame or panda series so first we need to convert this molecular object into a data frame and that's what i'm doing here i'm storing this in a variable df underscore mole and i'm using pd dot data frame our data is in mole this molecular object uh, column name i'm giving uh, same as mole and our d type is object and uh, uh, then I'm just creating an instance of this calculator class. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, I'm going to be providing you um, the link for those uh, somewhere in the description. So you can go ahead and see how we can generate descriptors from modded. And then uh, I'm just using this pandas method on calc in order to generate descriptors for our molecule now uh, this would generate all the descriptors for our molecule right so but we just need these eight descriptors and since this is a data frame i am just slicing this data uh, set uh, using uh, these column names here now all we need is we need to scale this data and we need to use the same scalar uh, so i have above here i have created uh, uh, an instance of the standard scalar class so we need the same scalar here and we need to uh, call a transform method and all we need to provide is these descriptor data set here now um, now we use a random forest dot predict method and we just use x underscore test uh, this variable over here which would predict the uh, solubilities of our organic molecule here and we can print out the solubilities using uh, this uh, line of code here so let's just uh, run this and i'm gonna be showing you how you can uh, use this so let us just uh, draw a random molecule here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be copying the smile strings and I'm gonna paste it here inside our function and let's see if it, if can, it can predict the solubility so uh, the solubility of this compound is minus 1.22 so in this manner you can predict the uh, solubility of single molecule now uh, let's say there is a list of smile strings uh, for which you want to predict the solubilities so uh, uh, all you have to do is you have to uh, run a for loop so basically what i'm doing here is that i'm creating an empty object called moles which will store all the molecular objects and then i'm running a for loop uh, which would iteratively mm, uh, generate these uh, molecular objects from the smiles followed by adding hydrogens and then converting into 3d structures and then 3d molecular objects would be appended to this moles list and at the end of this loop we'll have, we'll have uh, the list of smile strings which we have input and then all these steps are pretty much similar we will convert this into data frame uh, creating an instance of this calculator class calling a pandas method to generate all these descriptors followed by truncating our data set uh, so that we just have these eight descriptors transforming using scalar and then predict a method on random forest and then we'll just print out these solubilities so what i'm gonna do here is that i'm i'm gonna first run this let's just name it as smiles so that uh, the names are different okay let's run this and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna be copying this method here and now we need a list of smiles right so in here you can just use smiles variable and create a list uh, first let's just use this one only And 
then I'm gonna just draw uh, two more molecules. So let's just copy and paste it here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace OH with NH2. And I'm gonna again copy paste this and let's just use methyl here. Uh, since this is highly uh, non-polar so we would expect its solubility to be very less so let's just copy the smile strings paste it in our google collab notebook okay so we have the uh, smile strings as a list and we need to put this as an argument in here so let's just run this okay so we have got the uh, so here it should be solubilities okay so we have the predicted solubilities uh, of all these three compounds so uh, the alcohols and amines they have pretty close solubilities and as you can see here uh, for our uh, just the mm, methyl groups uh, the solubility has uh, decreased quite a bit and uh, lesser the value lesser is the solubility uh, more the value more is the solubility so in this manner you can predict the solubilities of uh, these organic compounds just from the smile strings one you have once you have the model ready now at this point we are not really done yet now you can see here every time we need uh, to predict the solubilities we need to first uh, upload this uh, file over here and then we need to uh, define our variables strain test split uh, again do this uh, model building and then uh, you know define functions and then predict so uh, it's a tedious process what we can do is we can store this random forest model uh, or save this random forest model that we have just made over here so what i'm gonna do is so we need to store two things here first is random forest model uh, and uh, second one is this uh, scalar instance that we have created over here because we need the same uh, standard scalar uh, instance for uh, scaling our new data so what i'm gonna do here here is i'm gonna be importing pickle library so pickle is basically used for uh, saving these type of models and files so uh, what i'm doing here is that i'm uh, basically storing our scalar um, objective here and i'm storing this random forest model over here so um, let's just run this so in here you can see uh, our model underscore rf file represents our random forest model and scalar.pkl represents our uh, standard scalar class that uh, the instance that we have generated above and uh, we mainly need these two things and then we don't really need to train test split and all these things again so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and i'm gonna gen uh, open a new notebook here so i am on uh, the new google collab notebook and i have named it first ml project predict from smiles 2 so i'm going to be providing both of these files in the github repository now what i have done here is i have uploaded model underscore rf and scalar.pkl files that we have uh, saved in our previous notebook and i have uploaded it over here and that's all you need for predicting uh, the solubilities from smiles apart from all these libraries here of course we are going to be needing more red and rd kit because uh, we need to generate descriptors in our function so uh, let's just uh, again install these libraries import all these modules from rd kit and uh, we just need um, uh, pickle and pandas and we don't really need uh, numpy or sklearn libraries uh, so what i'm doing here is that uh, i am reading these files uh, I'm storing our uh, scalar.pkl file which is basically a scalar instance of standard scalar and I'm again storing this in a scalar variable and our random forest uh, model which is model underscore rf as a rf model. So let's run this and this is the same function which we have used uh, before for predicting smiles uh, predict underscore soul underscore smiles. So um, let's run this 
and then uh, call the predictions so we have got the uh, same result over here so uh, in this manner you don't really need anything now you don't really need the data set uh, you don't really need uh, to uh, train test plates standardize uh, build the model again all these informations has been stored in model underscore rf and scalar dot pkl uh, so so that is pretty much it uh, for now and uh, please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions uh, i would be more than happy to help uh, please subscribe to this channel and uh, i will see you in the next video thank you